The man at the center of a major fraud trial in New York right now, Sam Bankman Fried, is also the subject of a new book by the best selling author Michael Lewis. Our economics correspondent, Paul Salman, talked with him about his new book called Going Infinite and the reaction to a story that changed dramatically as he was writing it. So how many interviews this week? Oh, I, it, actually not that bad because we kind of skipped cable television, but maybe 20. Still, Michael Lewis was a bit hoarse and has in the past few weeks himself become the subject of considerable blowback for his book's non-judgmental portrayal of its much reviled crypto hero or anti-hero Sam Bankman Freed on trial for defrauding investors, allegedly diverting billions for his personal use. Can you boil down who Sam Bankman Freed is succinctly? Sam Bankman Freed is uh, a, a, a child of two academics from Stanford, California, who discovered a peculiar gift for, for Wall Street trading after he comes out of MIT and sees in the crypto markets an opportunity to make a whole bunch of money which he says he's going to give away. To causes that fund effective altruism. What is effective altruism? Earn to give. That rather than extend yourself in a heartful way to something you do, like, I don't know, go be a doctor in Africa and cure kids of blindness or prevent kids from going blind or saving lives, you go to Wall Street, you make, you make a fortune and you pay 50 doctors to go to Africa. It's like the math works. And it's that idea that hooks Sam. And both his parents were proponents, are proponents of utilitarianism, right? The greatest good for the greatest number. Yes. Think of the son taking the parents' loose ideas and pushing them to an extreme. And so Bankman Freed began amassing his supposed to do good fortune. And in a period of about two years, goes from having zero dollars to having, according to Forbes magazine, $22.5 billion. How exactly? The super nerd savant leaves Wall Street and starts his own private hedge fund, Alameda, trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but mainly dozens of less famous ones like APT, XRP, SCG, whose prices supposedly differed on different markets long enough that Alameda could buy and sell instantly and make a fortune, playing in the crypto casino. But faithfully, says Lewis, he realizes for a bunch of reasons that there's more money to be made owning the casino rather than trading in the casino. And he starts alongside the trading firm, th this, 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 this uh, crypto exchange called FTX. FTX was supposed to be like any exchange, taking money from customers, depositors, to buy the crypto coins they're investing in. Good business. Very simple business, it's an exchange business. It's like You've got $250 billion of crypto being traded every month on your exchange. You're taking a small fraction of all that, and you just, you make a fortune. And venture capitalists had valued this business at, at $40 billion. Almost all of which the young man now known as SBF owned. Lewis loved the business, met SBF, told a friend to invest, invested himself. And to write a book became Sam's companion. He didn't think he was shadowing a con man, but... What happens over... Uh, the course of several years is a whole bunch of money that's meant to be on the exchange and owned by the depositors on FTX ends up in his private trading firm. And this gets discovered when FTX depositors last November start demanding their money back in droves and it's not there. FTX went from a $32 billion company to bankruptcy in the matter of just four days or so. Instead, Alameda, the trading fund, was, according to its CEO, Caroline Ellison, using it at SBF's direction to buy and sell crypto. And with a new haircut for court, Sam's also been attacked for using FTX's money to fund effective altruists, Democrats, and non-Trump Republicans shower multi-millions on condos in the Bahamas and on marketing, stadium naming rights, celebrity touts. Hey, it's Shaquille O'Neal, and I'm excited to be partnering with FTX to help make crypto accessible for everyone. Tom Brady. I'm trading crypto. FTX is the safest and easiest way to buy and sell crypto. It's the best way to get in the game. Even grouchy Larry David. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Doing much of this with depositors' money, which would be criminal. And the prosecution has gotten two top lieutenants, SBF's computer coder and Ellison, the former girlfriend who ran Alameda, to testify. 
So how naive was Lewis when Brad Katsuyama, the now rich friend he'd made famous in an earlier book, Flash Boys, asked Lewis to check Sam out? My friend just said, do you smell a rat? And I said, no, what could go wrong is what I said. But you were utterly charmed by him, right? I mean, I was, you know, I, I still like him. How close did you get to him, do you think? Too close, maybe? My relationship with him was I, virtually identical to the relationships I have with all the subjects of my book. If I'm going to describe you well, I have to be able to see your life. But to many now following the trial, Lewis hasn't been nearly open enough in denouncing his subject's dishonesty. There is a small group of people who are very loud who would rather me just join a lynch mob. And that's not my job. My job is to like learn as much as I can, tell the story as I see it, and let the reader figure out what they make of it. Are you kind of taken aback by how you've become so much of the story? That will pass. People who dislike Sam bankman Freed, right, and a lot of people do, uh, their first impulse is to dislike the fact I've even written a book about Sam bankman Freed. And, uh, and if it doesn't, if the narrative in the book is in any way more nuanced than the narrative in their head, uh, they don't like that either. I often hope to feel that with the material I'm given to make a book out of, that it's so good I'm only constrained by my literary powers. That the, and in this case, this seemed like it rose to the level of Greek tragedy or Shakespeare. Or to many tracking the trial, sank to the level of simple fraud. But either way, it sure hasn't hurt book sales. The most Lewis has ever had in a first week, he says, more than 100,000 with plenty to come. And the film rights were sold before publication for $5 million. Sam Bankman Freed is still worth real money, it seems, as a subject. For the PBS NewsHour, Paul Salman.